We're good. everybody and welcome to Bible class. Today our topic is lost. Uh, my name is Mr. Sizzle and this here is my pet parrot named Perry. Say hello Perry. Ah, what's up class? Can anybody guess what Bible story will be a study? Oh, is it the prodigal son? Or maybe it's the time where the Israelites were lost in the desert. No, 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 no you guys. I bet it's the time when Jacob gets lost in love when he first sees Rachel. Oh. You. Great guesses, everybody, but wrong on all three. Today, we will be taking a look at the book of Noah and the ark that's found in Genesis 6. Oh, what that story? It's so sad. I hate it when the boat hits the iceberg and starts to sink. I just feel like my heart can't go on when I think about it. No, silly, that's the Titanic. Noah's ark didn't sink. I always wondered how Noah was able to build the ark. Not, yeah, and I've always wondered about how all the animals got there and kind of even knew where to go. Ah, uh, lots of help. They needed lots of help. I'll be quiet, Perry. <sighs> Great questions, everybody. Today, instead of just reading about the story of Noah and the Ark, I thought we'd take the magic church bus and visit it ourselves. Woohoo! It was under the gun in Kentucky. I just hope the church bus makes it all the way up there this time. Wait, no, not the tragic church bus, the magic church bus. Oh. This one allows us to travel back in time and see Bible stories with our own eyes. Come on, gang, let's load up. Ugh, that was not so bad in there. No, it only smells bad when you're in here. I just hope Perry's not trying. Ah, I heard that. Come on, everybody, buckle up and hang on. <laughs> Okay, everybody, off the bus and stay together. If my calculations are correct, Noah should be done with building the ark right about now. Oh, there he is. Well, hello, strangers. You guys are the first ones to come and see the newly finished ark. Where are you guys from? You should do look different. Well, my name is Mr. Sizzle, and this here is my pet parrot, Perry, and my three students. Uh, we've come from the future to talk to you and ask some questions. Wow, well ask away then. Hey Mr. Noah, it's such an honor to meet you. I've been a big fan of yours ever since the BBS three years ago. How long did it take you to build the ark? It took all of 120 years. Wow, that's a word my grandparents. I think. One time my dad lost the directions to a playhouse when I was five, and I'm still waiting on it to be finished. How did you not get lost in all the work and always know what to do? God spoke to me and gave me all the information I needed. He told me what type of wood to use, all the measurements, and even how it should look when it was done. So I listened to his word and just kept following it. Never thought about giving up because I knew God had my best interest in giving me this task. That reminds me of John 14, 6. Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but through me. Uh, just as God showed Noah the way, Jesus shows us the way of salvation. Uh, does anybody else have a question for Noah? Uh, yeah, what are all the animals? Oh yeah, I have a question for the animals. Can we go talk to them? <laughs> animals talking, huh? Why not? This is a puppet show with a time-traveling church bus. Why shouldn't we go talk to some animals? Uh, we'll talk to you later, Noah. Thanks. Um, 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 um. Ah, okay, ask away. Hey, Mr. Nesmunk, it's an honor to meet you, though. 
Well, hello, strange children, and ooh, ooh, and ah, uh, ah uh, to all of you. My name is Abu, and my wife's name is Kachu. God bless you. Why, thank you. He already has. We're going to the ark today. Tell him, tell him about it, Abu. Ah, uh, yes. Moving a lot, sir, these days, because the closer we get to the sar, the harder it is to find trees to swing from. It's driving me bananas. No, some time ago, God made it clear to me, to us, that we should head in this direction towards Noah and his ark. He's going to keep us safe. That's right, Kachu. God bless you. You guys are so nice. So that's how all the animals knew where to go when the time came. God helped them see the path. That's right. It's just like in Psalms 119, 105. Uh, your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. Anybody else have any questions before we leave? Oh, I remembered. I have one more question for Noah. Back to Noah. <laughs> So much has happened since the last time I saw all of you. Hope you don't miss the world ending flood and all. I don't think that magic church procedures would have flooded as well as the ark did. I just had one more question for you now that the flood is over. When you were on the boat waiting to find dry land, did you not get afraid that you'd be lost out there forever? Not at all. We patiently waited for the land to reappear. I sent out birds on multiple occasions to see if the water level had gone down enough yet. The whole time I knew that God would ultimately see us through. I knew wherever and whenever we hit drag ground, it would be at the perfect place. I knew God wouldn't forget about us and would provide salvation. Wow, you had an incredible faith this whole time I trusted God everywhere. That's right. Because of Noah's faith, he never got lost in his mission or his trust in God. Uh, that reminds me of Proverbs 3, 5 through 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. In all ways acknowledge him, and he will make your path straight. Can anyone tell me why I'm reminded of this verse? It's because, just as Noah trusted in God, we should trust in him too. That way, we will know what to do and won't get lost or confused in our mission. That's right. As Noah had a mission to build an ark, we have a mission to build up our faith and help others. Also, if you're relying on God's word, then we won't have to worry about getting lost in the world. He will take care of us no matter what, where we are or what is going on. We will always sta stand on firm ground with him. We're kind of like the animals in Ray, that when they call God's word, it will lead us to salvation. Excellent. Now you guys see the importance of listening and trusting in God, so you don't get lost. Just in time, too. I believe I hear the first class bell ringing, so we need to get back. See you guys later, maybe. Who knows what God has in store for me next? So glad you guys learned the important lesson today about how to not get lost and trust in God. It'll come in handy next week when we take a tour of the book of Daniel and visit the fiery furnace in the lion's den. <laughs>